Ruby. Ruby is a dynamic, reflective, general purpose object oriented programming language which is suitable for many platforms and purposes. It can be run on all the major operating systems and comes pre installed on most modern flavors of Linux. Ruby originated in Japan during the mid 1990s and was initially developed and designed by Yukiro Matsumoto. Ruby supports multiple programming paradigms including functional, object oriented, imperative and reflective. It also has a dynamic type system and automatic memory management. Ruby on Rails is a framework built upon the Ruby programming language. Rails is a framework that makes developing web applications in Ruby take less time once you get past its learning curve. PHP is a scripting language originally designed for producing dynamic web pages. It has evolved to include a command line interface capability and can be used in standalone graphical applications. While PHP was originally created by Rasmus Ledoff in 1995, the main implementation of PHP is now produced by the PHP group and serves as the de facto standard for PHP as there is no formal specification. PHP is a widely used general purpose scripting language that is specially suited for web development and can be embedded into HTML. It generally runs on a web server taking PHP code as its input and creating web pages as output. It can be deployed on most web servers and almost every operating system and platform free of charge. In Ruby, everything is object. Every bit of information and code can be given their own properties and actions. OOP calls properties by the name instance variables and actions are known as methods. Ruby pure object oriented approach is most commonly demonstrated by the bit of code which applies an action to a number. Ruby's block are also seen as a source of great flexibility. A programmer can attach a closure to any method and describing how that method should act. The closure is called a blocked and has become one of the most popular features for newcomers to Ruby from other imperative language like PHP or Visual Basic. Unlike many object-oriented languages, Ruby features single inheritance only on purpose. But Ruby knows the concept of modules called categories on Objective C. Modules are collections of methods. Ruby is dynamically typed like PHP, so we don't have to worry about having a declare variables. There are classes and you can control access to them like in PHP 5 public, protected and private. Some variables start with dollar like in PHP. Ruby has exceptions like PHP 5. There is fairly large standard libraries. There's strong typing. Parentheses are optional in method calls. Expect to clarify which parameters go with method calls. Instead of naming conventions like underscores, the standard libraries and extensions are organized in modules and classes. Reflection is, is an inheritance capability of objects. You don't need to use random class like in PHP 5. Variables are references. There's no cl abstract classes or inheritances. Hashes and arrays are not interchangeable. Only false and nil are false. Almost everything is a method called even a phrase. We can learn new concepts and terms and look at the new architecture and find out what is good and what is bad. We can come across Ruby or Rails like framework in near future. By using Ruby, we can learn an object oriented language relatively painlessly. Ruby is easy to install, learn and use. You might want to try it out for yourself. 
rich independent application techniques optional ajax base css xhtml markup microformats and rss feeds in ruby we have clean and meaningful urls foxonomies for a example tags or tag clouds wikis web blogs mashups resto xhtml web services apis this demonstration you can see how the ruby and php codings are different from each other first you have to enter the ruby header then you can use comments to identify the code contents here you can see the function syntax you can pass the parameter to check the function then you can save the ruby program as hello world.rb rb is the extension of ruby file to run the program you have to use ruby and the program name then press enter in here you can see how the PHP codings are used starting tag of the PHP and the ending tag of the PHP Print command will show the output in your browser. Then you need to save the PHP document as hello world.php. Then you need to copy your PHP file into your Apache service htdocs folder. Then open your browser and type http localhost and your hello world.php file name. Then you can see how the hello world is printed. If you need, you can insert your PHP codes within the HTML tags. While Ruby is presented as a scripting language, it has proven equally suited for large projects. It includes some exciting features that other alternative languages are only beginning to implement.